we're going to be working very closely with our allies in the Muslim world, all of which are at risk from radical Islamic violence, attacks, and everything else. It is a dangerous world, more dangerous now than it has ever been. We should work, thank you, we should work together with any nation in the region that is threatened by the rise of radical Islam. But this has to be a two-way street. They must also be good to us. Remember that. They have to be good to us. No longer one way, it's now two way. And remember, us and all we are doing, they have to appreciate what we've done to them. We're gonna help, but they have to appreciate what we've done for them. The struggle against radical Islam also takes place in our homeland. There are scores of recent migrants inside our borders charged with terrorism. For every case known to the public, there are dozens and dozens more. We must stop importing extremism through senseless immigration policies. We have no idea where these people are coming from. There's no documentation. There's no paperwork. There's nothing. We have to be smart. We have to be vigilant. A pause for reassessment will help us to prevent the next San Bernardino, or frankly, much worse. All you have to do is look at the World Trade Center and September 11th one of the great catastrophes, in my opinion, the single greatest military catastrophe in the history of our country, worse than Pearl Harbor, because, Italia, because you take a look at what's happened and citizens were attacked as opposed to the military being attacked, one of the true great catastrophes. And then there's ISIS. I have a simple message for them. Their days are numbered. I won't tell them where, and I won't tell them how. We must, as a nation, be more unpredictable. We are totally predictable. We tell everything. We're sending troops, we tell them. We're sending something else, we have a news conference. We have to be unpredictable. And we have to be unpredictable starting now. But they're going to be gone. ISIS will be gone if I'm elected president. And they'll be gone quickly they will be gone very, very quickly.